make sure y'all drink y'all water. Stay hydrated out here. If you don't drink water, at least like two cups a day. You don't want your face looking like mountains on your face. Cause that's what's gonna happen if you don't drink water. And it's just all around healthy for you. So just drink, drink your water, drink your water. All right, no more juice, no more soda, just water. You're goddamn right. Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy Savior Reacts, and I'm back with another video. So for today, we're going to be going to the channel WatchMojo.com, and this video is called Top 10 Cobra Kai Season 3 Fights. You guys probably don't know, but I watch Cobra Kai, but uh, thank God that I found it like when it had two seasons because uh this show is pretty good um this is probably like this is probably my favorite non-anime show um ever i know you probably think i'm capping but i think i'm not capping because like this is a really good show um I've, I've only seen part one um of the karate kid um I haven't seen the other parts, but I plan to, so I get like what's going on in the show. But um, yeah, it's just a all-around good show. Season three is really good. Um, yeah, it's even more brutal than season one and two. But um, yeah, guys, before we get in this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn that post notification button so you get notified every time I post a video. And let's get right into this reaction, man. Let's go. No cops, all right? We can work this out. Or not. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Cobra Kai season three fights. Oh. What do you want? Payback. He's mine. No mercy! For this list, we're looking at showdowns from this series' third season that packed the hardest punches. Mm -hmm. For those who haven't binged it yet, this is your spoiler alert. What's he yeah, and I binged the whole thing. I don't know if it was in one sitting, but I binged it in one day. I think I took a break. I wanted to like pace it out, like do like one a day or something, but I just couldn't do that because I had nothing else to do. Favorite fight from season three? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Miguel fights for his life. Oh yeah. This was very symbolic. Classic cliffhanger fashion, the season two finale left Miguel's fate in the balance. Although Miguel remains comatose throughout the season three premiere, his internal struggle is cleverly depicted through karate. Moment we've all been waiting for. Yeah, I was confused at first, like what this like meant, but now I got it. As Miguel lies in his hospital bed, we cut to a one-on-one -on -one match between him and a competitor from Yoshukai Karate. The dream is interspersed with footage of Miguel's previous fight against Robbie, mm -hmm. which left him in critical condition. While the match is taking place inside Miguel's head, the conflict is real and the stakes are high. It's complemented by some emotionally effective scenes with Miguel's mother and Johnny, who encourage him to fight. Now you got it in your pull through. Miguel thankfully wins this round. This part was the real fight is fine. only beginning. Number nine, got up. new Cobra Kai recruits. Who's going down next? This fight was brutal. He's mine. Eli Hawk Moskowitz has changed so much, it's almost Hawk hard is to envision dope. him pre-Mohawk. Those memories come flooding back when Kreese goes in several new so recruits, dope. which includes Hawk's he did not want to smoke. I he swear. has little trouble finishing Mitch and taking his spot. Tori secures her place on the team, leaving her opponent with a chipped tooth and one of her signature insults. You need braces anyway. The main event is between Hawk and Brux, who bullied him with Kyler. If the hair and tattoos weren't enough, Hawk makes his message loud and clear. There was no match. mercy at all. He is not a weakling anymore, and his opponent has the bloody face to prove it. As satisfying as mm. it is to watch Kyler tremble, mm. it's also unsettling seeing what Hawk has become. You know, I didn't think you were actually going to do it. Yeah, but they got what they deserve for what they did to Miguel. Number eight, soccer showdown. After the first day of school turned right into an all-out war, the faculty cracks down on karate. Kento yeah. Black will give us detention just for breathing near them. I don't see any word to you. Besides, 
That's game of soccer without a little physical contact. Miyagi-Do and Cobra Kai seemingly find a loophole during a game of soccer. Treating the field like a dojo. At the start, it was very discreet, weapon, but like as it went on, they were full on kicking each other. Making a kick to the head look like an accident. Yeah, of just course, like that. It doesn't take long for the coach to realize that this is really just a brawl disguised as association football. Yep. Yeah, she stopped it's very like quick. Soccer, minus the kung fu and fantastical elements. Okay, there's only oh. a vague resemblance, but any scene that draws me into that movie is doing something right. That's my boy too. <laughs> Number seven, Priest takes out the trash. He's the one who wanted to get involved. Oh, now this fight was cool too. I'm not sure if John Priest can be fully redeemed at this point, but season three did add more layers to the sadistic sensei. In a flashback to the 60s, we see a waiter being mistreated by a jerky jock. Yeah, Although crease. you might assume that the letterman louse is Kreese, the villain we've come to despise is actually the sensitive server. While Kreese takes the humiliation in stride, he refuses to stand by when he sees a guy get rough with his girlfriend, Betsy. Hey! Yeah, yeah, enough of that. She ever taught to keep your hands yourself? In a back alley, Kreese takes out the trash in more ways than one. As Kreese emerges victorious and Betsy sends him a smile, we're given a glimpse of what could have mm. been. We know, however, that there's nothing but darkness in Kreese's future. I'm fine, my whole life. I'm sure he's always here. Mm. Number six, yep. Garage Fight. Oh, this fight was cool. What? As fun as it is watching Daniel and Johnny settle the score, it's just as compelling whenever they join forces. In this scene, we get a little bit of both. Attempting to track down Robbie, the rivals are led to a garage full of stolen vehicles and suspicious fellows. Naturally, Daniel tries to resolve matters peacefully, while Johnny lets his but fist... But Johnny always wants no, to smoke. No, no cops, all right? We can work this out. I kind of liked it, though. Or not. The bad guys may have chains and pipes, but they are no match for a couple of karate all-stars. Watching out yep. for one another in battle, we're reminded that Daniel and Johnny work surprisingly well together. When the lead runs dry, though, we're reminded why they never stay friends for long. Johnny's temper clashes yep. with Daniel's merciful nature, ending their partnership with punches. I should have known better than a team up with a lunatic like you. Number five, laser tag fight. Oh, uh, this is where a uh, hawk. Payback. Broke it Dimitri's arm. To amaze us how I was well so surprised like, that he did it, the though. Editing. As Robbie stands up to his tormentors in Juvie, Miyagi-Do challenges Cobra Kai in their biggest confrontation since the school showdown. Both fights blend together seamlessly, but one is noticeably greater in numbers. That's not the only reason this battle sticks out. Laser Tag was first played in 1984. The same year the Karate Kid hit theaters. So oh. setting a fight in an abandoned laser tag building was inevitable. Although the retro scenery creates a lighthearted atmosphere, things take a twisted turn when Tori arrives and a traumatized Sam panics. Show yourself, LaRusso! Whereas I mean, Robbie bests his enemy, she got scared. Sam is unable to do the same. Because he has Dimitri to get his arm broken. PTSD low stop, key. Stop, stop, it's, it's me. Number four, yeah. a very Cobra Christmas. This is four? Have you don't mind if crash? I thought it'd be Miyagi number Miyagi one or something. May set aside their differences, but not even the spirit of Christmas can convince Cobra Kai to call a truce. The cinematography, choreography, and set design click together flawlessly as the LaRusso residence is ambushed. We watch several fights break out in what appears to be one long take. This Although fight was the crazy. most heated confrontation is between Sam and Tori, who is apparently wearing a skeleton jacket. I gotta be honest with her, so yep. I thought you put up more of a fight. As those two square off in the dojo, Hawk comes to a realization. Having earned yeah, this respect, part, oh Hawk my gosh. sees what he's Hawk is about. back. He redeems himself with a kick and flip, saving Dimitri. Miguel, meanwhile, shows Kyler that he's back and ready to defend his title as All Valley Champ. The fight is far from over, though. Yeah. Thanks for the motivation. Number three, rematch to the death. This is not for you. Why not? You just said yourself our senseis had the same sensei. We're basically karate cousins, right? You are a foreigner. You cannot take our secrets. 
Daniel's return to Japan brings about several memorable callbacks to the Karate Kid Part 2. While Daniel was elated to see Kumiko yeah, I need to again, watch two and three. the same cannot be said about Chosen. While Chosen is less bloodthirsty than when we last saw him, he's still intimidating even when he's making amends. To prove himself worthy of the Miyagi family scrolls, Daniel must face off against Chosen once again. Now let us see how much you really know. Mm. Although Daniel beat him over 30 years ago, Mr. Miyagi yeah, Chosen's... did teach him everything. Which Chosen demonstrates. Way, In a surprising way better time, now. Daniel's former enemy becomes a teacher, picking up where Miyagi left off. Chosen could easily finish him with a pressure point technique, but he instead steals a move from Daniel's playbook. Took, him out. took out his arms and legs. Chosen. Honk. The way of the nose honk. Number two. I know that's a I reference to something, face. but I'm not sure like which part it was in. Anything you gotta worry about right now is survival. Taken prisoner, Kreese's unit is forced to fight each other to the death. Kreese volunteers to face off against his captain, sparing his friend Silver, as in Terry Silver. The cruel captain chooses now to tell Kreese that Betsy died in a car accident. That girlfriend of yours back home, what's her name? Betsy. Well, she's dead. Oh my gosh. I knew a lot. Now, letter came just as we got orders for this mission. To make matters even more stressful, mm. they have to fight over a pit of snakes. Well, that and that's where he got it from. Although Kreese is distraught, he doesn't let the captain's taunting distract him. With one resourceful move, he leaves the captain hanging on for dear life. With rescue on the horizon, Kreese no longer finds himself in a kill or be killed situation. Oh, we'll make that mistake again. Kreese, be mercy. He sends the captain falling to his doom anyway, marking Kreese's descent into a life without mercy. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Tori versus Sam. In a dream, but still cool. He is in a dream, though. Johnny starts another parking lot fight. Robbie adjusts to juvie life. My karate's about self-defense. I wonder what's number one then. Wow. Let's see how that works out. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know how I could forget this. Um, it's gonna be the fight like right after the uh Christmas fight at the LaRusso's house. It's gonna be Johnny fought Crease. Um then his um Johnny's son, Robbie, fought him, and then Johnny accidentally hurt him and then Daniel fought Crease as well and he could have ended him but like Crease talked his way out of it so that's gonna be the last one. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you yeah, have was pretty make good. Sure you go into your settings and switch on know. notifications. Number one, Johnny versus Kreese versus Daniel. What mm. took you so long? Season three has been a three-way battle between Johnny, Daniel, and Kreese. Thus, it only makes sense that the season would conclude with the three karate teachers squaring off. Yep. Caught in the middle is Robbie, who sworn his loyalty to Cobra Kai. Johnny isn't ready to give up on his Yo, side. Johnny was messing Kreese up fight with for a second. Yet. He sends Robbie charging into a locker during all the commotion, yeah, that distracting was Johnny long enough for Kreese to get the upper hand. No longer playing around, Kreese is ready to finish Johnny for good. This isn't how I want this to end. Daniel shows up just in time, however, putting the moves Chosen taught him to effective use. Going yep. through a window together, he Daniel not takes away Kreese's ability to wage war for now. Cobra Kai's gotta go. For good. Why don't we settle this the old fashioned way? Okay, that was a good list. And wait, hold up. Like, Johnny and Daniel can't take out this old man. Like, how old is he? Like, he looks like 70 or, or something. Like, he looks old. But how can he even move like that? It is a TV show, so, like, it's not, like, 100% realistic at some points. But, like, come on. He's... 70 or like going on 80 or, or something but um 
Um, it was a good list, but I don't agree with it a hundred percent. I think I would put, um, maybe the Christmas fight at two at the Lou Russo's and I think I agree with the number one because um, I kind of slept on that one. I don't know why. Um, uh, Daniel versus Johnny versus Kreese. I think I'll put that at number one because I really enjoyed that fight. Yeah. But um, yeah, guys, that will be the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn that post notification button so you get notified every time I post a video. And I'm going to be out.